Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths Key Skill video on finding the average speed given the distance and time. Let's read this first problem. A runner runs 270 meters in 45 seconds. What was the runner's average speed? Now there's just one key form you need to know here and it's this, that the average speed is equal to the distance traveled divided by time. That's all you need to know. And sometimes this is taught with something called a SDT triangle. So we've got S, D, T. And the idea is that if I was to put a line here, we can see that the speed is the distance over the time. Because can you see the distance is above the time? So speed is distance over time as you've got in this formula here. And the advantage of this triangle is that I can add that line in different places to get different formulae. So if I add the line here, I can see that time is distance over speed and so on. But let's use it for the values here. We can see that the distance is 270 meters. And we can see the time is 45 seconds. So the speed using this formula is going to be the distance of 270 divided by the time of 45. And if we do that on a calculator, we get six. So it's six. And what is the unit? Well, because we did meters over seconds like this, it's actually gonna be a unit of meters per second. And that's what speed means, how much distance you travel in each unit of time. So we travel on average six meters in each second per second. So that slash there means per. What about, what about the second one? A car takes three hours, 24 minutes to drive 85 miles. What was its average speed in miles per hour? MPH means miles per hour. Well, let's write the time that we have. The time is three hours, 24 minutes. And we've got the distance, which is 85 miles. Now notice that the unit of speed here is in miles per hour. So our time unit there is hours. So we need this to be in hours, not hours and minutes. And the way we can convert that 24 minutes into a fraction of an hour is to think, well, how many minutes in an hour? Well, there's 60 minutes in an hour. And therefore this could be written as three and 24 sixtieths of an hour. And in fact, if you do that on a calculator, 24 over 60, you can see it's two fifths, it's 0.4. So it's actually 3.4 hours. So now we can use this value in our formula. So the speed is equal to the distance, which is 85 over the time, which is 3.4. And 85 divided by 3.4 is 25. And let's get the unit right. That was in hours, that was in miles. So it's miles per hour. And notice, by the way, that we don't write miles per hour with a slash in the same way that we write meters per second. And I'm not sure of the exact reason for this. I think it's something to do with the fact that miles is an imperial measure rather than metric. Um, but it's just convention that we don't write the per there as a slash if it's miles and hours. We actually write MPH for miles per hour.